everybody, Colm here with a new video, and this week it's another makeup related video. I'm really excited because my friend went to DragCon and Jeffree Star was selling some of his products there for a little bit less than on the website, which was awesome. So I had her pick me up two of the liquid lipsticks. I had her get um, Abused and Weirdo. I think one of them is a dark purple and then one of them is black. I've never actually tried any of Jeffree Star's products before, I've only heard really great things about them, so I was going to try these on today on camera. And I'm also going to compare it to a much cheaper option, which is the NYX Liquid Suede uh, Liquid Lipsticks. I've been using this for a while now, I only have one color, Alien, which is a black color with a little bit of green in the sun. I absolutely love it, it's really great, it does feather a bit after a few hours, but with a quick little touch up it doesn't look like anything happened. So. I actually really like this lipstick, so it'll be interesting to see how much difference there is between this one and the Jeffree Star one, so let's get started. So first I'm going to try Weirdo. Weirdo I think is the purple color, I don't remember. Maybe it's Abused, I don't, I don't remember actually. There's a sticker, that's why. That explains it. This might take a second. Oh, the other side doesn't have a sticker on it, huh. Alright, so here is Weirdo in that awesome Jeffree Star packaging. I actually really like these, um, this kind of packaging. It looks really cool. And I'm just gonna take this out. It's the same kind of applicator as the um, NYX one. Uh, I think this might actually be the black one. Yeah, this is the black one. So Abuse... No, Weirdo is the black one. And Abuse is the purple one. This is gonna be difficult. It doesn't actually say which one is which, but you can actually tell I don't know if you'll be able to tell on screen, but this is abused. You can actually kind of tell it's purple while this one is weirdo, which is a definitely black one. Uh, so far, it does seem to be drying a little bit faster than this NYX one. They're both equally opaque and go on equally easily, so I'm not sure how much the difference is going to be. You can't really see much and I can't really put my hand closer to the camera, but this is uh, abused, weirdo, and then the NYX liquid suede alien one. Alright, so this is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick, so this one. This one is about seven, six or seven dollars in Target or any other store where you can buy like drugstore kind of makeup. Um, I really like this lipstick, it goes on super easy and it dries really fast. The biggest problem I have with it though is that it does not stay on very well. So like if I kiss my boyfriend, it gets all over him, um, it gets all over cups straws, everything, like it does not stay on very well, which is usually fine because I don't usually... When I wear lipstick I try to avoid eating really messy foods and things like that, which I guess is something I shouldn't be avoiding if I'm wearing lipstick, like I should have a lipstick that stays on, but I do really like this stuff, it's easy to put on, it's super cheap, it's really nice, but that's always kind of annoying when I'm trying to kiss my boyfriend and stuff. So for a very cheap lipstick, this is a really good option as long as you don't mind the fact that it's going to get all over everything. You have to touch it up once or twice a day. But it's really, really good and it's really, really... What's the word? Not translucent. I'm pretty sure opaque isn't the right answer, but it's a one application and it you can't see through it at all. Like you don't need to put two or three... Um, go over the same spot two or three times. One swipe and it'll be completely covered. Like this is a really good cheap liquid lipstick. Alright, so now I'm going to be trying Abused. We'll see how that looks and all that stuff. Unfortunately, I can't wear these for a full day, so I won't be able to give you guys too much on how much I like them, but I'm sure there's plenty of videos of people trying on Jeffree Star lipstick and things like that. But anyway. Alright, so first impressions with this. First thing I noticed, it actually has a really nice smell. It kind of smells like a mix of candy and like cold medicine, but it does not smell bad at all. The NYX lipsti liquid lipstick does smell a bit chemically, and I mean, that's not really a big deal to me. I don't really care that much, but this one smells like candy and I really like it. Uh, second thing I noticed, the applicator on the Jeffree Star lipstick was a lot easier to use and to get the lipstick on my lips the way I like to do it. I like to underdraw my top lip a little bit and then overdraw my bottom lip just a little bit. So that was really awesome. The applicator's great. It's just as opaque, I think that's the word. If it's not, I'm really sorry, but it's just as opaque as the NYX liquid lipstick, which is really good. So just 
one swipe over my lips and it's totally fine. I don't need to do anything else. I'm letting it dry a little bit and then I'm going to try kissing my hand because I want to see how well it stays on. If it means that I can kiss my significant other, then it might be worth the extra $15, $20 it costs to get this Jeffree Star lipstick because when I am wearing the NYX liquid lipstick, I can't kiss my boyfriend and that's very sad and I get very sad about that. So let's give this a little bit and we'll see if it comes off or not. I did not have to wait long at all. I turned off the camera, looked at it for a second, realized it's totally dry. So that's really cool. This lipstick feels a lot lighter than the NYX liquid lipstick as well, which is really cool. Because the NYX liquid lipstick, it does still kind of make your lips stick together a little bit like a normal lipstick or lip gloss. This one, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything and it doesn't really dry out my lips either which is really good because I have really dry lips and that's just a big whole other deal. So far, I think I like the Jeffree Star lipstick way more, which I think makes it worth the price if you can afford it. But let's see what happens when I kiss my hand. <gasps> other than a small little bit that I think came off of like a corner that wasn't quite dry yet, it doesn't come off at all. Yeah, there's just a small corner on this side of my lips that's a little like not dry all the way, but that is amazing. And I might forever only buy Jeffree Star lipsticks from now on because holy crap. Like I am a cheap makeup person. I don't really like spending a lot of money on makeup, but these might really be worth it. Just because they don't come off on anything, which means I'm not going to have to reapply it as much. Because look how much came off with the NYX one and then this is Jeffree Star. Like, what? I'm going to try taking this one off now and I'm going to put on Weirdo and see how that looks as well. We'll see how hard this is to get off because the next one is very hard to get completely off my lips, which is kind of a bummer. And I'm sorry for all the noise my bird is making. Oh, this is a lot harder to get off. Oh, it does not want to come off. Which I guess in the end is actually a good thing that doesn't want to come off. Alright, so let's go ahead and try Weirdo again. This one, ooh. This one kind of smells like berries, like blueberries or something. It smells really good. I like it. This isn't the best application. I don't know if you can tell, it's a little messy. But once again, it went on really um, opaque. I swear, I, I'm so sorry if that's not the actual word. It feels really light, it smells really good. As much as I like the NYX liquid lipstick, and I highly recommend it as a cheaper alternative to more expensive liquid lipsticks that are like matte and things like that, if you can afford to get the Jeffree Star lipstick, I highly recommend it. The two that I have are amazing, super lightweight, they don't seem to come off, they feel great, they go on really well, the applicator is genius, it's like, let me see if I can show it to you. It has like the typical like lip gloss kind of applicator but there's like a small ledge on it that goes out and it just like perfectly gets your bottom lip without overdrawing it if that's not your intention and things like that and honestly this packaging is just really cute. If you can afford it I would definitely recommend the Jeffree Star lipstick. This is a totally like first impression. I've never tried any of his products before. I only have friends who use it and they've always said good things and now I'm saying good things but honestly it is really really good and really easy to get on and I highly highly recommend it. Let's try this, kissing my hand. This one came off a little bit more, but I didn't. I don't think I let it dry as much, so that might be another reason why it came off a little bit more. Or because it's black, who knows, but definitely a lot less than the, uh, the NYX lipstick, so that's a bonus. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm trying to do more makeup stuff because I'm starting to get more into makeup. So if you like this kind of video, give it a like. Let me know if you don't like it too by giving it a thumbs down or saying why you don't like it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I put out videos every Sunday. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!